Hi and welcome to our session two, where we begin our look at the GIFT acronym for discovering who you have been gifted to be. Uh, you know, we've been processing this as a staff team here at FGA and we've tried to gel together um, a series of questions that you could ask yourself as you go through your journey of finding out who you've been gifted to be. Last week we looked at uh, having a gifted mindset, having a mindset that God has gifted us so that we could be a blessing. This week we get right into it with the first letter G. The letter G stands for grace gifts and really they're the kind of gifts that God has given us from the beginning. They're what we started with. Uh, you know, you, you would have seen some people talk about nature versus nurture. Well, it's kind of like this. Uh, we've got the letter G, which looks at uh, grace gifts. And next, at our next session, we're doing I, which is our influence. And G would be like the soil that God has given us, what we've got to work with. And I, our influence, well, that would be the things that come through in our lives and shape us uh, from the raw materials that God has given us. Uh, you know, there's a passage in Scripture in Romans 12, uh, verse 6 to 8. And if I could read it for you, I think it really captures what we're trying to do here. In His grace, in His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So, if God has given you the ability to prophesy, well, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have the gift of showing kindness to others, then do it gladly. You see, you have to understand that as a beginning set, the grace gifts that we've been given, um, we've all not been given equal measures of this gift. In fact, um, 1 Peter 4 verse 10 says, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. You need to understand that our God is not a fair God. If you're expecting God to be fair, then you would look around and think, Everybody has to look the same. Nobody can be better looking than anybody else. Everybody should have the same amount of talents and gifts and strengths. And, but the reality is, God's not fair and He's, give, and He's dished out varied grace. While God may not be fair, He is a just God. So not fair, but just. That means, at the end of it, those who have been given much, much will be expected. Those that have been given little, little be, will be expected because God will have seen all and knows all and He knows how you have stewarded the grace gifts that He has given you. Now, there are many things that we could be talking about in the category of grace gifts. Um, as you reflect on this, you could be thinking about uh, some of your physical attributes that God has given you. Maybe beauty. Some of you are really good looking. That is a grace gift. Uh, maybe it could be um, your personality. Maybe it could be even where you've been born, the country you've been born in. Um, some of the things that you have been given right from the beginning. Some of you have natural talents and abilities. I know some people who were born through um, God's gift that have an ability to play the piano or maybe to do a certain sport. It's, it's certainly not been influenced or, 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 or nurture that has brought that up, but they inherently find it easier to do certain things. Well. Today, there's a whole range of things that we could be talking about, so we're just going to narrow in on one. We think it'll be fun, and it'll be a way for you as a home group to start discussing uh, the initial set that God has given you. We're going to be looking at personality and or temperament. Uh, we're going to be looking at, uh, hopefully your home group will ha have a chance to do the Myers-Briggs or Tim LaHaye's temperament set. And you'll, you'll go through and you'll see, hey, I'm an extrovert. God's gifted me that way so I can just talk endlessly. Or I'm an introvert 
God gifted me that way so that I don't have to just shoot my mouth off all the time without thinking. I actually get the benefit of quiet and peace and reflecting on things and then choosing my words carefully. I don't know, how have you been gifted? I hope that as your home group explores this, that you'll have a bit of fun, but you'll also begin to discover what, what has God gifted me as my base set? God bless.